The following account was reported by a security guard employed by a private firm. According to his testimony, he and his colleagues have experienced unnerving occurrences while conducting night patrols on an aging property. Only a few nights earlier, one of his fellow guards allegedly encountered a mysterious figure. On this particular night, around 3 in the morning, the atmosphere took a turn for the worse. Dengar kan? Sumpah padahal ini dikunci. Kalau malam nih ini dikunci. Astagfirullah. Ini asli loh. Udah jam setengah tiga. Anca. Ui, siapa ui? Hmm. Astagfirullahaladzim Kalian tengok Tengok, tengok, tengok Strange sounds echoed through the area, as if someone or something was deliberately trying to capture his attention. The disturbance seemed to manifest itself as a dark, shadowy mist. As the guard hurried back to his post, an unsettling voice filled the air, as though it was trying to communicate with him. Some believe these manifestations could be linked to malevolent forces, such as curses or restless spirits from the past. Typically, entities of this kind are said to thrive on drawing attention, inciting fear and causing confusion, or perhaps simply deriving amusement from human distress. However, one thing remains clear. Engaging with such entities is strongly discouraged. The true nature of what haunts this property remains unknown, leaving many to wonder what exactly is at play here. The man in the following video was traveling on a narrow road in the middle of nowhere one night. Apparently this area is pretty notorious for scary incidents that have been reported over the last 100 years. The most common story however is the one about the lady in red who can be seen ever so often, standing on the side of the road and looking at passing vehicles. It is said that she lost her life in this very area a long time ago, but that her spirit is still haunting these grounds. The man was pretty uneasy after noticing a figure in what appears to be a red dress. He states that all he wanted is to get home as soon as possible after noticing this thing on the side of the road. And I suppose it will remain a mystery if that was actually the lady in red or just a lost person. The following is an eerie CCTV recording which was captured in a hospital in Buenos Aires, Argentina and it was all over the news. At 3.30 in the morning, a receptionist can be seen getting out of the chair and, based on his reports, greeting an elderly woman that was coming through the door. And we do in fact notice how the automatic door is opening. The unsettling part, however, is that there is no trace of anybody entering. The man walks towards the entrance, detaches the security tape and writes down the patient info.
After finishing up, he seems to let the invisible person pass through and guides them towards the back of the hospital. Only moments later, another CCTV camera captures how the same receptionist is getting a wheelchair, which is stored right next to the elevators. He offers it to the invisible lady, but is seemingly getting rejected, causing him to return the wheelchair. As the hours go by, the man is wondering if the elderly woman got picked up after losing sight of her for quite some time. After checking, the hospital staff told him that they have not admitted anybody around that time and that nobody saw the elderly lady he was speaking of. They checked the patient registration and, get this, it turns out that the info belonged to a woman who had deceased the day prior. So, was the man talking to a ghost here? How scary. The following video was shared by another nightly driver who was on his way through the city. Important to note is that the following highway does not offer any walkways for pedestrians. However, the man captured somebody on the right side of the road, seemingly sitting there. There is somebody sitting there, no question. The comments state that they think this to be a girl in a white skirt or dress of some sorts. But why would anybody be doing this? What's our explanation for this? Just a weirdo? Or is this a spirit? Pretty dangerous though, whatever the answer. series of videos today were recorded by a user named Jay Bay Bay, and he works at a really old theater. You might have heard of his case in the past. He states in several of his videos that really mysterious and inexplicable things are going on here, especially at night. Customers report strange shadows, noises and see things being moved right in front of them. In the first video of the series, Jay explores the seating area, unnecessary to say. He was the only person guarding the premises that night. Yet, something catches his eye in the distance. Let's take a look. Alright guys, so I work at this uh, old theater and I've been hearing a noise. It's a really beautiful theater, as you can see, if you can see it at all. But I keep hearing a noise in here and there's not supposed to be anybody here, so... Just double check in, but I wanted to film it just in case. There's the ghost light. It's a light we keep on for ghosts, <laughs> for people who still remain here and whatnot. And um, what is that? It would appear that a person is sitting up there, which based on Jay's statements should have been impossible. So what are we looking at here? Was it maybe just a prop that was forgotten? But how is it possible that it seemed to have moved slightly? Maybe a former customer enjoying a show? On one of the following evenings, Jay updates us on the situation. Hey guys, so um, I was just coming up here to check the fire extinguisher. I'm up in the light booth right now and I swear to God I heard somebody clapping. And um, 
I looked down on the stage and I thought I saw something, but I have not. I've been calling down for about a minute and I haven't heard anything. And I honestly should have just been filming this whole time. I'm sorry I wasn't, but this is the window that I saw something in the other day. I'm going to go up there and check it later once I get all the lights on, but... Hello? On first glance, maybe it was just something explainable that night. A seat perhaps, or the old floorboard settling in. The? The night after, he was on duty with another colleague, and yet again heard some really strange noises stemming from the distance. Hey, you up there? Door is not supposed to be open. Hey, Brad. Something just pushed me, and that door opened. <laughs> But it gets a little bit more disturbing pretty soon. Alright guys, so I'm here late at night checking in on the place because the sirens went off. That means that somebody was trying to get in. Got here, there wasn't anybody here, but I just heard the piano in the small space, so I think there might be somebody there. Someone in here? Hello? Hey. You're not supposed to be in here. Who is it? After the piano starts playing by itself, Jay made it out of there as fast as he could. And this was the last incident that he documented to this day. What do you think? Is it the works of a poltergeist? Or does something more explainable lie behind these happenings? Woo! Alright y'all, my heart is racing. Okay, so... I see this sometimes, I've been trying to catch this on camera, nothing over here, I promise there's nothing over here, I'm not doing anything to manipulate this, watch. Look, do you see that? This is what I'm talking about, okay, check it out. Let me get another one. Look, I'm not doing anything, I swear, I'm just standing here, I see this all the time. It only happens, okay, yeah, see, it only happens to this, <gasps> okay, that's the biggest I've ever seen it. This is the basement, this is the green room, anyone in here? I guess I can turn on the light. Hello? Alright. Wig room. Anyone in here? The bathroom. The shower turns on and sends chills up my spine. Whoa. Someone's in here. Yo, it's midnight. You... starts to glitch. Someone behind that. <laughs> okay. Alright. Um, 
Let's see. There's got to be somebody down here. To nobody's surprise, Bailey did not find anybody that could have done this. He sometimes works with a colleague that, in his mind, could have easily turned on the shower and the lights. But he wasn't working that night. However, maybe something else was with Bailey in the shower area. Something that went unnoticed. <laughs> A viewer pointed this black object out and Bailey said that no black object should have been placed there. So they were not sure if this could have been another shadow encounter. But he went live on his Instagram the night after and might have captured another glimpse of the shadows that are dwelling in this theater. Hard to say what exactly this was, but if it wasn't his colleague, then it's very plausible that something paranormal had happened here. It is quite uncommon for pedestrians to make it on this part of the highway, basically impossible. The couple states that they were in a deep conversation at the time and not expecting anything out of the ordinary, since it was very late already and the streets were basically empty. However, all of a sudden, something appears in the middle of the road. <laughs> And they barely pull the car out of the way before an accident occurs. Again, it is more than strange for any living person to be found in this area, especially a woman that is walking all by herself in the midst of night. She appears to be wearing a blue dress and possibly a white sweater of some sorts. It is impossible for us to see her face, unfortunately. The couple thinks that this was either a confused person who got lost or that it was the ghost of a lady walking these streets and scaring passing cars. What do you believe happened here exactly? It's quite foolish for anybody to walk across the highway at night, especially without any light source. But of course, a ghost wouldn't care about that. The following recordings were documented and shared by user It Simon. He works the night shift as a security guard in an old hotel. Apparently, many ghost stories tell about several entities that roam the lower levels of this building. And not too long ago, somebody passed away in one of the storage rooms close to the staff lounge. After hearing unexplicable noises and even voices, Simon started a little video diary. This was the first entry. I do security at a hotel. I was making a video of where I go when I'm doing my rounds. A guy died here a few months ago. This is the staff lounge. I don't think he ever Are left. Here? Bathrooms. An unidentified voice can be heard. Simon suspected at first that it might have been the person who died in there. Could this be? A bit later, he kept his camera rolling while he was going on a short bathroom break.
strange. But the activity didn't stop there. Hello? Oh, why are the lights off? Yep, nope, nope, I'm out, nope. After taking another bathroom break on one of the following evenings, loud shuffling noises were apparently noticeable from right outside. So I'm in the bathroom right now. I'm not going to the bathroom if you're wondering. <laughs> but uh, I'm hearing like shuffling sounds outside the door. And I didn't put the camera on. Bro. Bro, what the f was that? No. He tried to investigate a bit further, but got spooked away pretty quick that night. I don't know if you can hear it. Oh, I swear to God, I hear singing going on right now. What the f is that? No, 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 no. Can you hear the voices? This could also be a chair being moved, in my opinion. Yeah, no, I'm out. This just happened on my live stream. Imagine that chair moves. Oh, no, no. Imagine that chair moves. Oh. After things had settled down for a few nights, the following was captured. Oh my God, what the, what the? After having this creepy incident unfolding in the staircase, he returns on one of the following nights with a bottle of holy water. I got this holy water off Amazon. I'm gonna drop it down the stairs. Some say he might have angered the entity, which is haunting this place. Could that be so? When he was checking out one of the storage facilities shortly after this incident, it would appear that this thing followed him once again. Hello? How creepy. Okay, so I'm in the kitchen right now. Uh, I was making coffee. And... What's this? Is 
it hurts right now. It's like burning. What the hell is this? How strong is this entity? What the f It's like under my freaking arm too. This was Simon's last video and it is unknown if he's still working there or not, but many believe that something rather sinister was messing with him all these nights. The next incident was shared by Myrtle Sarosa, who was riding along a lonesome road with some of her colleagues one night. The incident that was about to follow scared them so much that she shared the encounter on her social media. The story goes that the group was traveling on the road from Samar to Taklaban city in support of a school advocacy tour. They were stranded in eastern Samar for two days because of a typhoon. They apparently had to turn back because their route to the Tekleban airport was already flooded by six feet high water and their alternative route was inaccessible due to a landslide. Sarasa described the road they were traveling on as having no street lamps and most of the area they were crossing was uninhabited. At around 12.40 am she said they saw something eerie. Myrtle describes the object to the left as being the size of a child and even when passing by, it also looked like a small kid with very pale skin that was just standing there. Given all the weathery roadblocks, they were pretty startled and felt sick to their stomachs. Myrtle asked her followers if it is a realistic scenario for a living kid to roam the streets alone at night in such an area. What do you think? This video was captured by traffic camera and while not technically a dashcam video, it's so weird that I decided to share it with you today. Franco had shared the video with me and told me that it was recorded in South America. The area this traffic camera is located at is apparently known for its many strange encounters and there have been a few people that swore that they have seen the chupacabra creature close to the woods surrounding these old roads and the security guard that stumbled over this recording believes to either have captured the said creature or something even creepier. Quite shocking, isn't it? You can clearly see a person stepping out of the dark forest area to the left side of the screen, which is quite dangerous since we see a car driving towards it in the back. Then it morphs into some form of animal and disappears back into the forest. Some people believe that this animal looks like a lion or boar of some sorts. And others believe this to be chupacabra but it is pretty big, isn't it? I find it is quite significant and a really mysterious recording. Was it maybe even a ghost? Who can say? The following is a recording from inside a car, which was captured by two friends who were on the way home from a gathering. The video description reads that the road they were traveling on took them a bit outside of town and there's basically just a lot of empty fields. 
At some point, they noticed a weird person on the road and believed it to be a prank at first. But given that this transpired several kilometers away from any civilization, made them question this theory. <laughs> It is said that the two friends had to put the car in reverse and go a different route, since they felt way too spooked out to drive past those two people. It's unlikely that this was a paranormal event in my opinion, and serves more as a creepy example of strangers that are blocking the road in the middle of nowhere. How would you have reacted? Just driven past? Well, I guess safety first. The next clip was shared by a man who was driving along a road through the outskirts of town. The man describes that this night the video was recorded was nothing special and that prior to this incident he had not noticed anything unusual. The area is also not known to be home to any paranormal events in the past, making the man question even more what he saw that night. In his own words, he describes it as a dark transparent thing that was standing on the left side of the road, but thought that his eyes might have played tricks on him. His dash cam had recorded this incident, however. We can see the outlines of a shadow person that is standing on the left side of the road. Unlikely to have been a regular person though, say many. Besides the safety risk of course, it would be more than unwise to be wandering the side of the road that late. Is this another ghostly dash cam encounter? Or what else unfolded here exactly? Just a bush? Nah, I don't think so. But what do I know? The following video is showing heavy police presence around Bayside Marketplace in Miami on New Year's Day. And it made many speculate that something unnatural was unfolding this night police stated that they were there to dissolve a large fight that broke out between a group of about 50 teenagers, which resulted in multiple arrests. Yet some people had their own theories and posted on social media days after the incident, suggesting what really was going on. Some people at the scene believe that aliens had taken a visit to the mall, which caused this extreme police activity. Of course, the Miami Police Department tried to play the theories down, stating that there were no aliens. But some bystanders believed that they in fact saw an 8 to 10 foot alien walking right through the scene. Some other users on X pointed out it is likely to be just two or three people walking next to each other which is possible, but most people find it a bit suspicious that such a large amount of police vehicles would show up for just a simple teenage brawl. One of the people at sight had the following to say. We look back and we notice some weird shapes taller than me. I'm six foot two, shadowy, dark, solid shapes, not human. I promise you, these is not human. I mean, it made the hair stand up on my skin. Uh, and just booked it for the doors after that, man. I can't explain what that was. I can't say that was aliens, but I, I can't say that, sh that was not human. It was not human. And they online, I don't know if they're trying to cover this stuff up, but they saying that it was uh, police officers and, and somebody, not shadowy figures, 
it's 2024, man. There's it, something going on. There's something going on and they're trying to cover it up. So it appears that it is up to us now to decide if these events show us some form of otherworldly activity or if this, in fact, was all just caused by a rowdy group of teenagers. Many believe that there's more to the story than what police wants us to believe. And I agree.